boy, am I glad that I have seven minutes on this one. What's up, boys and girls and babes? Cats win! Five to two over the Anaheim Ducks, and your Salty Caps fan is back from an unplanned hiatus. Sorry guys, I had to travel for work and then what with the airplane and the dry air and the Virginia to Orlando and the, I couldn't speak on Saturday or Sunday. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but that's sort of the thing with the video. I talk. Game 23, wow, of the NHL regular season for the Washington Capitals. They played the Anaheim Ducks at home and uh, destroyed them in hockey. Emotionally, mostly emotionally, I think. In the first, 50 seconds into the first, Richard Ponick gets his first as a cap. That's great, that's really fun. You know, this whole game was just real fun for me. So that's the theme. Hockey's fun. Lars Eller throws the puck behind Anaheim's net where Travis Boyd digs it out and sets up Richard Ponick for his first as a cap. In the second. 619 into the second, I actually wrote it down this time. Rowney of the Anaheim Ducks did a crime. He slashed my tiny baby son, Jacob Rana, so he had to go and sit in tantrum baby jail. And the Washington Capitals have a power play. Yeah, this is my favorite goal of the night. It's an Ovechkin power play goal that begins with John Carlson walking the blue line, passes to Evgeny Kuznetsov who fakes a snapshot with like the set of his shoulders and a little bit of magic. And John Gibson bites so hard on Evgeny Kuznetsov's fakery, just absolutely bamboozled by the lies that Evgeny Kuznetsov is telling with his body, that when Evgeny Kuznetsov passes no look cross ice to Alexander Ovechkin, there is nothing that John Gibson can do other than plunk right down on his butt and just whine like a toddler. When we're talking about Chandler Stevenson's third goal of the season, we're just gonna lay out what happened. Brendan Leipzig lays a bone crunching hit on Derek Grant, who is twice his size. Garnet Hathaway collects the puck behind the net and passes out to Chandler Stevenson, who takes a shot while everyone is distracted by three Anaheim Ducks attempting to murder Brendan Leipzig. John Gibson was also distracted, so Chandler Stevenson takes a shot and it goes in. I was surprised that the goal counted, to be honest with you. <laughs> we'll talk about Spitgate later. That the Washington Capitals go to a penalty kill that after all of the math will last about three minutes. Coming back for the third, they kill it. That penalty kill is no joke. At 5.54 into the third, my tiny baby son, one Mr. Jacob Brana, gets himself his 10th of the season. It is listed as unassisted, but Alex Ovechkin carries the puck into the zone, um, and it does get a little bit stolen by a duck, but Dmitry Orlov pokes the puck away from him in between Jacob Brana and John Gibson. Jacob Vrana takes the shot, Gibson stops the first, but Jacob Vrana pots his own rebound for his 10th of the season. Caps are up for nothing. And this is where I start to worry, because it's there's 15 minutes left to play in the third, and the last time that the Caps were up for to nothing with 15 minutes left to play in the third, at home to the Anaheim Ducks, they lost. So you know, then the Ducks score themselves two low goals, and I'm like, oh my god. At 18.49 into the third, Tom Wilson redirects a John Carlson clear into an empty net to put the capper on a 5-2 win over the Anaheim Ducks. So I said we'd talk about it. I guess we gotta. Uh, what had happened was, if you'll recall, Brendan Leipzig was being mugged by three separate Anaheim Ducks. Garnet Hathaway did not like it very much, so he punched Derek Grant in the face and took him to the ice. The referees come over to break everything up, and while his arms are being held behind him by an official, Eric Goodbranson punches him in the face, so he spits at him. I'm gonna be a reasonable adult in one minute. First, that is silent film star Garnet Hathaway, whom I have fallen in love with over this season, and your girl gonna buy a Garnet jersey. 
I love bad boys. Right, okay, I'm ready to be a reasonable adult. I'm gonna say just in general that we shouldn't spit at each other, especially at work. But more importantly, it is actually an infraction in the NHL. In fact, it is two infractions. Read the NHL rulebook. Spitting at an opponent or spectator is a game misconduct, not a match penalty. Sorry about the location change, but I'm editing and realized I never actually said the second part of my point, but spitting at an official is a match penalty. Garnet Hathaway received a match penalty for spitting, it appears that we've all agreed, at Eric Goodbranson, who is an opponent. However, in between Garnet Hathaway and Eric Goodbranson was the official. Remember the official, the one who's holding Garnet Hathaway's arms behind his back? So I understand why Wes McCauley gave Garnet Hathaway a match penalty because he may have been attempting to spit at Eric Goodbranson, but there was also an official there in the splash zone. The first five rows may get wet. I guess we'll see what the league is gonna do. I hope it's not all that long. The Cavs don't have any extra forwards. I don't think it's all that big a deal. <laughs> God, I had so much fun. It was hilarious to me. Everything about this game was hilarious. John Gibson falling on his butt like a toddler. Brendan Leipzig absolutely trucking a man who's twice his size. And even Garnet Hathaway spitting on the ice. Are you not entertained? We are playing the Rangers tomorrow night. I want VTech Vanacek to get the start. That's my other little special goalie baby. Why not give him a game against the eight, eight and two Rangers? This has been Kate, your Salty Caps fan. Bye.